by the time you are done listening to this audio recording, in fact, this should be what I call statement, official statement. And maybe other statements from the nurse and from some few other people, particularly Adura, the younger brother of Mobag, Darusha, DJ Bami, and Spendi. Those people that I have called, mentioned, with this particular one, this should have been the framework if the police were to do the needful in getting justice for Mobad and also unraveling a web of substance abuse and trafficking. You're about to hear what you have never heard before. In fact, this one, this one needs no translation. It will blow your mind. It will shock you. This is deep. This will benefit our international audience. Today, first hand, you will get deep into the mystery of Mobad's life, the mystery surrounding him, the mystery of the woman called Wumo, that tiny possessed with demons, that girl. You will get to know what she is into, who mentored her, who sent her, why she needed to finish the job, and the kind of diabolic practices. In fact, today you get to understand. Maybe now you begin to check that your boyfriend or that your girlfriend, um, that thing that you are forgiving her of. Maybe now you want to revisit it again. Like, no, I don't want to RIP. It will shock you that during the height of Mubad's uh, psycho, yes, psychosis, yes, A spiritualist was contacted, or let's say a pastor, or a prophet, or a seer. And that seer told Mobat's father. And everyone around, if Wumo and Mobad do not split, the same that was told to Mobad and Prime Boy when they were 13, if you don't split Wumo and Mobad, one person will RIP before the next 12 months. And that's exactly what happened. Mobad died. If I tell you that Mobad's father is aware of certain things too, you might be like, hey, maybe the man, it just happened like a shocker. No, he's aware. He knows. That's why he decided to take one or two steps. But he was not too solid on it. May we not fall victim. May we not fall victim. What you're about to hear, will, it's emotional. And you'll be shocked. Like and share this video. Let it go viral. Tap on the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell. If you also want to encourage us, you can tap on that love icon with a dollar sign in the middle of it that says thanks. Let's get right into it. So I had to like drop the camera, but the recordings were still on. The voice, you can still hear the voices when I was shouting. So she was telling the guy, shoot, shoot me, shoot, shoot, shoot. Then I was trying to come out there at the same time, trying to, everybody, everybody was doing different things, every, every commotion everywhere. So, they shot bundled, um, Zeno, they bundled Shubomi, they put them inside their van. You understand? They carried them, put them inside the van, carried them and they're going. So immediately all of us, we ran outside. We entered inside Mubaz, Kamubaz started the Kamubaz said, because you know, I told you I stay in the same estate, like opposite Malian's house. So Mubaz and I have the, and at that point, you know, they already left. So after like some minutes, I just end the live video because you know my phone, remember I told you my phone was low. So I didn't want the phone to die. So I was still saving the battery that, okay, if we get to the where they are, we can still continue making the video, you get. So by the time we, by the time, sorry, ma. So Mbra told me immediately, um, do me, do me, call um, estate gate. Tell them not to allow those, that motor to leave the estate gate. Estate gates, those so he, the Mofinot in Cocon, Emma Binope Mo interrupts. There is a gate in Mobad's estate. Igbatoni Mobadiku. 
Sa won lò pati e lò ba won to wani ye state gate yen. To be the question. Abiko ye yi. There was an estate gate. I ba ba won lò se gbe mo ba di lò. Ki nò sofun wang ba ton bò ta lò. Ki nò sofun wang ba ton wò le bò. Because I don't get it. Because I know that their estate is a gated estate. And she is confirming it now. O lori bu kwa lò pa. Won o shek bo bo yen. I want to investigate. I just come back. My see them. They don't want um, Zino to leave the estate. They don't want them to carry Zino. You understand? So he said, call, call, call. To me, I called immediately. I called the estate gate. I told them, I said, they said nobody should open the gates. If people open that gate, anything people see, I want to So those people, you know, they were scared now. Spase is for Malia House. So they don't want any problem. So they locked the gate. <laughs> And when those NDLA officials got there, they were very angry. You understand? So by the time we, you know, we are pursuing them from the back. By the time we got to the gates, ma, before we close our eyes and open, eh, those people just came down from their cars, started shooting up. Immediately they saw us. The driver of the NDLA motto carried his car, drove back, used the um the car to scratch Mobad's car. Drove front and um, drove like you know when you reverse to just to jam somebody, you reverse again to jam the person again, reverse again to jam. So they continue hitting the car, hitting the car, hitting the car. So Mubad, you know, he just bought that car, mind you. Mubad just bought that car. Mubad just bought his car. I think it's like a week or maybe three days or some days. Like it's exactly, Mubad was their target. Mubad, I'm a boy at office. Jamaya, what for your Jamaya go? What for your Jamaya? Ashana de dake. Ashana wa sokbe. Emma bolo. All this why Nairamali was out of town. Sheng bomi. Moto mobad. Three weeks before the incident. Loga moto ye. Imagine a car of like almost how many million. Because then I remember he bought the car like in something million. So imagine buying that car for something million. And somebody. Sheng bomi. Mobad bought a car of 20 something million. And Ashana said when they left my house, they left with nothing. Ashana, make it make sense. Mobad got more to 20 something million. And only afford more to 20 something million. But Ashana, make us to understand the pay. Mobad left Naira Mali's house without nothing. So he let Mobad drive below to go. Moto to lo deposit bolo si go Ashana make it make sense. Eje kama bolo. Deliberately because those people were angry. They deliberately hit our car several times. You know because Wumi already attacked them. You understand? And again, aside from attacking them, we told because we made we didn't allow them to leave the estate. And again, the embarrassment that we. We put them through that day because we really embarrassed them. I will not lie. Like we're only we're shouting thief only. So all those people, they, those neighbors that were upstairs looking from their different windows, everybody was shouting only, only, only. Ooh, you understand? So those NDLA people, the NDLA people, the shame catch them that day. They were really, really angry. So they left. So on we getting to the gates now. They know that crowd are not there at that gate side because you know at the, when they were at Malian's house. There were crowds there, you understand? So they did not, they, they could not do anything. They could not beat us. They could not do anything to us there. But you see, when we got to the estate gates, ma, immediately we are coming down. And so as they hit Mubad, Mubad Tuna came down and said, ah, moto me, moto me. He so he went to one me, they started beating, like fighting them. My sister from nowhere saw that they were beating Mubad. He jumped down, started fighting them. Everybody, thing just turned to war. Do you know what those NDLA people done did? They now carry gun. Ma, they were hitting the gun on Mubad's head, my sis' head, everybody, like, those people, they, even Shubo. God bless you. Are we sure they are real, they are real NDLA? Oh, they carried gun. They were hitting her gun anyhow on her body, on everywhere. She had to run and jump inside their van, you understand? Because they were saying, enter, enter the van, enter the van, enter the van. So if you don't want them to me, as, as I don't, as I already saw that, because there was no way we could escape from that place. The gate was locked, and there was no the side, the two sides. There's no how you can run. You understand? So me, I just saw that the commotion were too much, and they're already beating us. So in order for them not to beat me, 
I just entered inside at the back of the van. I just went to sit down. You understand? I was now trying to make the video. You know how my phone was low? So I was trying to like still try and make the video. So people on live video were just telling me, please don't off your phone. Please don't let your phone. Please just know, let us know what location are, you, are they taking you people to? Where are they taking you people to? Where are you people right now? Everybody was just, ma, do you know that they hit Mubad gun on his head? With the head of the gun, the NDLA people. They scattered this boy's head with gun. They kept, kept hitting him gun on his head. He was bleeding on his head, ma. He was bleeding. Um, that pushed my bad inside the car, they pushed my C. The only reason why my C did not bleed and my C's head did not burst and all of those things was because my C has this heavy, heavy dread. You can go and check, like at least you, I know that you are you are you are an investigative journalist, so you can check my C's video um pictures and videos as a 2020. 2021 um, 2022 sorry early 2022 you will see that the dress that on, was on his head is all those tic tic dreads that gone said like if you eat something it will not touch his scalp so he had a dread on his head but Mubad's head was like um that time that Mubad was still vibing that his white hair um that is tinted hair so from there all of us shall enter that was when they now they carried me they carried my C. they carried Mubad they beat with me to, to stupor that night, man. But how will me got away from that scene till today? I don't understand. When I asked her when I got out... Sheba! Only how she got away from that scene? I will mobile she I will rebe. Crawl from Gotha. She crawled from Idado to Osapa. She said that she entered inside gutter. She crawled from the gutter to the dadu to something. I was now wondering, is it possible for somebody to crawl? But you know that time, I don't know now. I don't know anything. And me, eh, it ain't Benny like it. That dadu to Osapa. One of Osapa unga, unga kubo Benny. Make it make sense. As an artist, I got to pay. One of Osapa unga, unga kubo Benny. Like, in, 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 like I was just like more or less like i'm because I'm, I'm an evil girl i'm like my tribe is different from so me i'm just like an outside i just feel like an outsider as at that time because i just started knowing them newly so after everything so while on the road to um the station they were taking us to we we're asking them, please, where are you taking? Because we're inside, you know, we're inside, they packed all of us inside their bus, and they were just telling us, shut up there. But you see, I, then I started the live video again inside the bus, you understand? So I saw people were commenting, please, um, please, where are they taking you people to? Where are they taking you to people to? So I, we, all of us were not asking, oh, please, the officers, where is the station? They refused to tell us. The bad started insulting them, you know, started, so everybody started fighting them again, you understand? So that was how we continued again oh, until my phone was on 2%. I had to off the live video. By then, I think the the, the views already got into like 40,000. Um, blogs were texting me, telling me, oh, please, these other people, like different, different people, all these um, celebs were texting me, influencers, different people, but because my phone was low and again, I couldn't be chatting, they would, they would seize my phone, they would, they would know that something, you understand, they would know that I'm doing video or something, so I had to be hiding the phone from them. So I shot a cut to the live video. When we got to the station, they assembled all of us, they told us to enter inside. So while we were entering, entering inside, those police now carry, um, those um, NDLA, they now carry gun, they now hit me at the back of my neck. Ma, do you know that till now I still feel pain at the back of my neck because of that gun that they hit me on my neck, you understand? Mm. So immediately they hit me that gun, more bad than my C, now rush the person that hit me the gun. They rush to him, why are you going to beat him? Why are you going to beat him and start fighting him? They start hitting them gun again. Then those people, and they're not fighting physical, maybe because they know that my C and, and Mo, they are like, they are strong, kind of. So they use gun to be hitting them, like gun, head of gun, not, not even the, not, not small, small hit, or like hits that, this thing will reset your whole memory. Do you understand? So they hit them, the gun again. My C now fainted in that NDLA office. They now said, if you, if you want to die, make you die. They threw him outside, like they threw his body. You know, he has fainted already. They just threw his body outside there. They now left him there and dumped him. They said, if you die, we go bury you. You understand? So Mubad was just sitting down and... 
Somebody said, <laughs> I used to live Abba. Ibiti asha na sopo umgade ye. They said it's very, very far. His head, so they gave me what I put on my sis head. He got like later got better. One woman, one of the officers, now helped me. Yeah. We now brought him inside back and we sat down. So while we were all talking, and mind you, ma, Mubad has show in Dubai the next day, and that day was already 4 a.m. Like 4 a.m. Like all these things were happening between the hours of two to like four. So that time was already like 4 a.m. or 3:30 a.m. in the morning. You can't hear that me, Ken. In the morning. So that means the me, not early, not that day that they have uh, mobile has the show in Dubai. The next day. So when um okay, when my sister got inside the back, all of us were talking to ourselves like everybody calm down, calm down, you understand? So because of the show now, they released mobile that particular night. Ma, you know the the when they brought us to the station, Mubaz car too, they brought Mubaz car too to the station. We saw them like this carry cups of Igbo, put inside our car and said we don't want to have it. Shebo! Shebo me! Only when they brought Mubaz car to the station, only when we were by, we were big bo. Me, they go big bo ni koni. Only one, you can't hear me, Ken. I don't know. not set our cars. I don't show in Dubai. So because of the show now, they released me back that particular night. Ma, you know the the when they brought us to the station, Mubaz car too, they brought Mubaz car too to the station. We saw them like this carry cups of Igbo, put inside our car and said we'd want to have it because they've not seen anything to rob us with. Yeah. And the you know the calls were already they were already calling MDLE. They were already were already scared. They knew that the thing don't, has gone viral. Everybody has already known that oh they have issues, their manners have issues. So they wanted to like if and if you come and say that they've not see us with anything, there's a problem. Do you understand? So they have to plant that thing mm. in our car. We saw them. It's not even that. We saw them like this, carry the ego and put inside Mobad's car. And ma, re remember I told you that when we were in the house, we wanted to go and buy smoke. It was smoke Mobad and my wanted to go and buy before they now called us while on the road that NDLA was in the house. So four cups of smoke. How did four cups of smoke get into the car? Hmm. Do you understand? But we already understand what they were doing, so we just kept quiet. Like we, we shall, we didn't, we shall enter the inside cell. Shall they've not put us inside main cell? They just put us inside the normal room. Okay, so Mubad was thirsty. He asked for water in the station. So they told him to take water because there were plenty of waters on the table. They just told him to take water if he wants to take. He took the water, ma. He drank the water. To God and to man. This is where it's getting interesting. I collected this water from him. Yeah, he was testing the water, man. He drank the water. To God and to man, I collected this water from him and I finished it. I finished the remaining water. So tell me, how will me suddenly just develop, just started lying that they poisoned him in NDLA office? If they poisoned him, that means it's me and him that they poisoned him now. But there was nothing wrong with me. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? You're still going to hear more because this will stretch for another 45 minutes. I mean, we'll be getting them in that um, 15 to 20 minutes thereabout. That's what we will be doing. Um, I do not want this video to be too long. I do not want it to stretch for um, two hours. Um, it doesn't help the analytics at all, YouTube analytics. So I'm just going to push on them this will be the first you are still going to hear more you are still going to hear more in fact you are still going to hear about the pot of juju if you are an african or you are from the caribbean i'm sure you must have seen some offerings that's what they are called uh selling things that are placed in the middle of a, a t-junction or um so in fact let me break it down when one was caught with an altar when i say altar altar 
juju pot, everything. What you find in the in the, in the temple or shrine of a Sangoma or or a Babalawo or 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 in, this is even more than a muti. This is more than a muti. Wumi was caught with this also. That that we heard back then is true. Wumi was caught with this pot of juju and some other items where she goes to do the libation and invoke and consult. I have said it time to that number that Wuwon is possessed. Wuwon is possessed. Why? There was a time I was on social media and I observed certain platforms where they discuss about girls, ladies, men, but more of women who, have, who are possessed with some familiar spirits. They have this platform where they discuss. They gather themselves. They talk about their experiences, how they had this dream, what they saw. These people are connected together. This person all of a sudden, they started advocating for war. I checked again and I realized for a long time, I thought they were going to be the anti-justice thing. But I observed that they were particular about war because war belongs to them. War belongs to them. These kind of girls are the ones that are sent out. They attach themselves to people of destiny and they are mandated consciously or unconsciously to bring such people down. So this lady narrated what happened. This is not what she was told. She was present. I'm sure you recall the video where one was screaming and lashing out at one of the NDLA officers, Nigerian Drug Law Enforcement Agent. Yeah. She was trying to grab the hat of the man, pull the weapon of the man. Why was she doing that? At first, Karimo told us, why are we talking this way? Look at someone who risks her life for her boyfriend or husband. Now, the truth is clear. Anyone can manipulate anybody. She told us all of this, probably because she had not gotten the full detail, or she had gotten the full detail, but she decided to act irresponsible. But now, since she got a dose of uh, the wickedness of the wicked, she felt, well, it's time for me to come out clean. It was not for, uh, for Moba that Mumu did what she did. No. She's a ras, violent, wicked person. She had thought that the NDLA officer would cock weapon. She being possessed with demons, she knows that she will not be shot. By mistake, the bullet would have been inside of Moba's body. Because according to this lady, you heard her, she said, these people did not provoke us. We were outside of that Malian house, outside of the estate. We came into the estate when we got wind of what was happening. And it was Zinoliski, that is the second guy signed into the Malian record label, that was being arrested. Maybe they observed and saw certain things that the guy did on camera. They got information, sort of, somehow, I don't know. Well, she did what she did. The NDLA officers reacted. And they became aggressive too. They needed to protect themselves and um, they acted in a disorderly way too. Well, eventually, when they got to the gate, you heard what she said. When they got to the main entrance of the estate, it was locked. This got them upset. They bashed that mobile car and they did terrible things to them. All of them. According to this lady, Wumi was, was beating properly she was dealt with the guys had boots of weapons hit on their head more bad got his head cracked that's the beginning of mobile psychosis apart from misuse of hard substance this is common in the malian house both female and male they consume these are ras wild High, high par young men and women. Colorado, Colos, they have different names for this hard substance. 
They consume it on daily basis. They consume it till they get knocked out. This is the kind of life that they live. They barely live correctly. They don't eat good food. No, not at all. They don't. That's why if you see Zinoliski and see some of these guys, they look so ragged and rugged and look unkempt. They look like sicklers and... Hmm. Well, hmm. it's a serious issue. It's a terrible issue. Eventually, being a streetwise, possessed, she went into her element. She jumped into the drainage. She wriggled herself. According to her, she disappeared. This brings me back to the audio recording where Mubad was asking Wumo, you, where did you go to? You left me. Where did you go? Then she said, oh, I escaped through the drainage, this and that. That was where Mubad was telling Wumo a lot of things. Like, you will regret it. Where's my other phone? Ever since this NDLA thing, my brain, my mind is unsettled. I am not okay. My life has not remained the same. Hmm. Yes, part of Mubad's rants came out of psychosis due to the impact. But before then, according to this lady, a lot of things were happening. And I do not expect these things not to have happened if these are young stars involved in terrible activities. Definitely. Somebody that is taking colos, both male and female, taking all these hard substances here and there, smoking that, smoking this, testing this. You know, what do you expect them to do? If not for music and the appeal to certain people. These guys are like emptiness without nothing to offer. Questions have been asked. What did Mubad, who came from a Christian home, who had call on him, he had a purpose, destiny to fulfill. Why did he find himself in that kind of setting, hoping not to be cut down? Warnings came twice, thrice. Like I told you at the beginning, Mobad did not stop. Is it because Mobad had been you know, held bound? Or parents are sort of, I mean, his father, broken apart. Like, the man did not just understand what to do anymore. He... Is he has is just exhausted, or spiritualists were not giving him more. How is it that he was unable to split Wumo and Mobad? I know it's a difficult task, particularly if you are not financially buoyant, and secondly, if you are not living with that your son, how can you split them? They will go back to each other. According to this lady, Wumo will never leave Mobad for a minute. Always making sure that she is updated with Mobad. Like she needs to fulfill some sinister, wicked, evil purpose. Acting paranoid. Afraid. Never wanting Mobad to be away. So I'm kind of wondering... Where did all this come from? According to this lady, Wumi is a manipulative demon. Very manipulative. She will lie here, say this there, lie here, join her together, lie here. She's for the street. She has learned the ways of the street. Cunning. Manipulative. Well, if we go by Wumi, a tied Mobad spiritually, then, then, it is what it is. Because one will wonder why Mobad's father did not take strong steps. But if you hear, this should be a lesson to you and I. If you hear that there is RIP attached to the relationship, this is not because you don't like the tribe, you don't like this, you don't like that. You sincerely know within you as a parent, relative, cousin, brother, Sister, that this person, there is RIP attached to their relationship. 
everything possible in this world. Do it. Anything possible, make sure you split them apart. Very important. Very important. Split them, break them apart. Whatever it takes, break them apart. Whatever embarrassment, whatever you can do to make sure that that girl stays off, whatever, do it. If Mubat's father had been a bit strict, he was looking for ways to ward off the RIP that they told him. Rather than warding off, kicking away the serpent, the scorpion in the life of Mubad. Mwah, Cynthia. Like I told you, there is more. We'll be listening to more. So I don't want this video to be too long. We'll be listening to more.